At the School of Geography, Planning and Environmental Policy, the importance of urban planning for sustainable development is one of the key themes in Dr. Brendan Williams' work. Here at UCD, we've been looking at the issues of planning and development for a considerable period of time. There are two issues which we've examined in some detail in re recent years. The first we can see if we look towards the city centre, and if we examine the issue of regeneration of the city centre. What's happened is over a long period of time, decades perhaps, through underinvestment, through letting things go, we allowed city areas to go into decline. We allowed parts of the city to become derelict. It's only in recent years that we've realised the economic and social consequences of this are quite enormous. And therefore we've looked at policies, whether by way of public-private partnerships, development incentives, etc., and the best international practice in terms of regenerating city centres. In turn, if we look the other side, towards the outward spread of the city and the development pattern, we can equally see issues and problems which have arisen. So what will future urban planning need to consider? I think over time what we'll see is that it's very worthwhile to try and continue regeneration of city centres and try and contain maybe the development patterns that we've developed with the outer suburban spread of the city. Dr. Williams and his team expect that their research in terms of environmental planning will be a benefit to future policymakers. Journeys to work, travel to work, quality of housing, quality of services, quality of the air we breathe and quality of the water we drink are hugely important issues. And these all come under the ambit of research in planning and development. Already within UCD, in the Urban Environment Project, we are linking with other institutions, including Trinity College, NUI Maynooth, the Environmental Protection Agency, in looking at the consequences of development patterns for the urban environment of the greater Dublin region. This has involved examining separately but integrating together in terms of modelling what are the consequences 20 years forward of the patterns of development we've been experiencing. What would the effects be on climate change, on biodiversity, on transportation patterns and on development patterns. And it's that area of linking together all these consequences that the environmental issues can be placed in the Earth Institute and that it can make a valuable contribution to future policy making in Ireland.